Hey everyone, so today was another episode of Doom Patrol on DC Universe streaming service, and while I wasn't that impressed with the very first episode, I did like this one a little bit better. I typically give shows three episodes to kind of hook me, and I think number three is going to be the make it or break it for me, because I did like this episode a lot better. Um, it, it kind of kept my attention more so than the first one did. It still has a lot of things in it that I'm not crazy about, and I'm not going to lie, some of that bothers me. But this episode did give me a lot of things to look forward to about the show, and things that I want to see explored. So, there is a little bit of hope. I still don't think it's as great as all the comments I've seen online, but that is my own opinion, and everyone is entitled to their own. And as long as people are enjoying the series, then I guess it's okay. But, like I said, it's just not the best for me, but it is getting better. This episode, it, this show is very, very strange. And I'm just going to have to accept that that's the kind of show it is, I think. Um, you kind of pick, you pick up in this episode with the aftermath of the events in the pilot episode. With the whole town of Cloverton kind of uh, going kapoof and all of it kind of getting swallowed up into a big hole, um, including the chief who is missing. And I think that may be a storyline throughout the season that he is missing and they're trying to find him. Um, he's being held captive by the narrator or Mr. Nobody, whatever his name is actually, who again in this episode, he's just a little too over the top for me. It's a little too much Deadpool and I don't find that it works as good as it did in Deadpool. You know, with him breaking the fourth wall, he goes on some rant at one point where he's mentioning DC Comics and stuff like that. And I, like I said, it's just too Deadpool to me. It's reaching. But, you know, it is what it is. I like the actor and I think he's done some really phenomenal work, but it's not there for me yet. Uh, but anyways, so they're kind of, they kind of realize that the city of Cloverton and the chief and a bunch of other things are trapped inside this donkey and they end up finding out that there's like a keyhole. They get trapped inside the donkey, which is really strange to even say, but it is what it happens. In this episode, you also have Cyborg. And I have to say, I know Cyborg is like the poster child for DC Universe right now, but I am not feeling this version. Uh, the actor is doing his best, but I don't think he has the physicality for the role. He's kind of small looking to me. And I think of Cyborg as being pretty much bigger, you know, larger than life. And I don't think that the CGI is really there yet with him. I, I thought his outfit, his, you know, his cybernetic prosthetics, whatever, kind of looked like a Halloween costume. It definitely wasn't as impressive looking as the version we saw in uh, Justice League, the movie, and I don't know. I, I could really do without him. I didn't feel like he brought a whole lot to this. They were really pushing for him to be the one, the, the member of the team that you really were, you know, just a big fan of, and everyone in the episode really is just falling all over themselves for, for Cyborg, but I said I could take him or leave him. If he leaves the show tomorrow, I'm kind of okay with it. I do feel like you got to know the other cast members better, and I did like that. This episode went into their backstories a little bit. Um, they end up trapped in kind of their origin stories, and I really thought the actors in this did a really good job. I do find myself really liking Rita, and I'm really interested in what her story really was. They allude to some stuff, but you don't really know what happened. And I think the actress just did a really good job. She kind of brought a little level of comedy to it. Um, while at the same time being a serious actress, and I thought she did a really good job. You also got some more with uh, Matt Bomber in the actual episode instead of just the voiceover as Larry, and I like the stuff they did with him. I like that stuff. Again, there's more stuff with Cyborg, and I just didn't feel like it was that great, um, but, you know, that's just my opinion on it. Um, your, your other storyline in this was pretty much Robot Man, and he's trying to help Jane, and... 
you know, again, with Robot, Robot Man, I feel like they are just throwing some stuff in there to make him more controversial. Um, he's constantly cussing, and maybe that's just his character, and I don't know. It was just kind of too much. It was a bit repetitive, and I kind of got annoyed with it at some point, and I was just, I thought they were just doing it to be risky, to be bold, and I don't know. Eventually, he kind of tones it down a little bit, and I felt like the character was a little bit more relatable at that point. Um, but overall, I don't know if I want him to be the focus of the show because it's just not there for me. But again, my own opinion on that one, yours may differ. Um, I also am not really that crazy about the look of Robot Man, but I don't really know how else they would have done that because I think if they went all CGI, first of all, they don't have the budget for that. And second, it would definitely look CGI. This is more practical, but it, you know, it would probably grow on me. I did really, 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 that's a lot of reallys, but I did really enjoy Diane Guerrero as uh, Jane in this one, Crazy Jane, and I thought the actress really surprised me. I've seen her in a lot of things, and I always tend to like her, but I've never seen her range of acting, I don't guess, because she typically plays kind of the airhead character. You know, you've seen her on Orange is the New Black, or maybe Jane the Virgin, and she's kind of the same character on those to some degree but on this one she really showed a nice range uh there, there was one particular scene where she's going through lots of different personalities and i thought she was pretty flawless in that and when she was baby doll i actually thought she was pretty creepy sounding and i thought that was pretty good um, i really was interested in her backstory and all of the footage that robot man found where uh, she's kind of being interrogated and she's talking about the mysterious Katie and now that personality is one that you know No one wants to be around and I thought that was pretty cool and I look forward to that kind of storyline emerging I don't know if we actually saw Katie, you know the flame version that we saw. I don't know if that was supposed to be her um, I did like the couple other uh, Versions of Jane we saw the one with the electric powers was kind of cool uh, the other one where she made words turn into metal it was different. It was kind of creative, I thought. But, like I said, and then we see maybe Hammerhead. I'm not really for certain which character that was. Um, but I thought the actress did a really, really good job with that. And I liked this character a lot more than I did in the pilot episode. So I think there's potential there. Um, after that, you know, there's, there's not a whole lot more to the storyline than that. It's just kind of setting up. But, again, like I said, this episode was a lot better than the first one. So, I give them, I, I gotta get them that. I will base my final decision, though, on the next episode on whether I'm gonna stick with it or not. So, you know, it's kind of iffy at this point. But, again, I do see where they did, did a better job in this episode. So, you know, good to them. Um, like I said uh, before, it's a lot of people online are really liking this series. And it may be for you, you know, you may like that. Uh, but uh, kind of said, leave me some uh, comments. Let me know what you thought about the show. Um, you know, what your ideas are on it. Anyways, guys, so I will talk to you guys later. I hope you're going to have a fantastic weekend and enjoy yourself. Catch up on your shows. Go see a movie, that kind of thing. And be sure and stick around for the next video. See you later.